someday I hope and I'm going to pray for that we will uh, find a cure for cancer. And uh, I, I want it done in my time. The time has come in America when the same kind of concentrated effort that split the atom and took man to the moon should be turned toward conquering this dread disease. In fact, it is now conceivable that our children's children will know the term cancer only as a constellation of stars. For the first time in human history, we can say with some measure of confidence that the war on cancer is winnable. It will launch a new effort to conquer a disease that has touched the life of nearly every American, including me, by seeking a cure for cancer in our time. Cancer is a worldwide scourge, the fastest growing disease on Earth. By 2030, there will be as many as 22 million cases worldwide. Cancer afflicts 1.7 million Americans each year and kills 600,000 of them. More will die from cancer over the next two years than died in combat in all the wars the United States has ever fought combined. One in two American men and one in three American women will be diagnosed with cancer in their lifetimes. And nearly everyone will be close to someone who suffers from it. Make no mistake, this is one of the most significant human challenges in our history. To imagine that we will find a simple solution to this, I think doesn't do service to the true complexity of the problem. Cancer is part of our genetic inheritance. We will always have cancer amidst us, within us, amongst us.